Hey guys, this is Balin over at Voice Glow, and today I'm going to be showing the Google Forms feature, which allows you to directly embed Google Forms within your Voice Glow chatbots. So the use cases for this are pretty endless, but one idea is to change the way that you capture contact info or maybe gather pre-qualification questions for your builds. Um, this is a very typical contact gathering method. So basically the AI would ask for the contact information, in this case, the name. We would capture the name as an entity. So I basically went into the NLU model in VoiceFlow and I set up the name entity of type name. So VoiceFlow has built-in entities that it automatically recognizes. So basically within a conversation, the user would be able to put in their name in a sentence or a paragraph or whatever they say, and VoiceFlow's AI will be able to understand what the name is and it would extract that from that utterance. And basically we're just gonna greet the user over here. So. This is useful if you want a more conversational like flow, but if you have a lot of questions to ask, you might not want to ask each one individually. And maybe even if you're gathering multiple lines of input from the user, that might not be the best because you would have to store it in a variable in voice flow, just like I did with the name right here. So in those cases, a Google Forms may be helpful and I'm going to show you how to set it up. It's super simple. And the first thing that you want to do is head over to voiceflow.org and either create an account if you don't have one or just sign in if you do. And what you want to do is go to this extensions tab on the left side and you're going to want to download this voice glow template after you do that you're going to go back to voice flow go to your dashboard and import it so i've already done that and this is what it would look like or actually you're not going to see this obviously because i just set this up but you might see some introductory text you can just delete all of that it's not really important but what is important is this library on the left hand side so if you go to library you're going to see all of the different features that voice glow offers so basically what you want to do is grab the Google form and drag it onto your canvas. And you'll see that it populated with some of these blocks automatically. So basically how this is going to work is the Google form will pop up using a custom action and it's going to use some JavaScript to extract the data within that form and actually display it within voice flow over here. So this is really powerful because it demonstrates how Voice Glow using vo the Google Forms feature can actually extract data that was submitted in the Google Forms and be used again in Voice Flow. So for example, if a user puts in their name in the Google Form, the bot can say, thank you, John, or thank you, Jane, or whatever the name that was inputted after they've actually submitted that form, which means that you can use the data that the user submitted in real time, and it will populate dynamically depending on what they inputted into the form. So over here, what you're going to want to do is in this action body, you're going to need a link to your form, the embed code. So over here in Google Forms, I'm assuming you already know how to make a Google Form because that's why you're watching this. Once you're done with making the form, you can see in my test example, I just asked for an email and a phone number. You're going to press this purple send button. So when you press this button, you're going to see this little pop up. You're going to click these two small arrows on the right hand side and you're going to copy this embed code. Go back to voice flow go into this action body of this first node and paste it in. So over here, you're gonna have this really lengthy code that you don't really need. So right before the HTTPS, you're gonna delete that. And right after the view form with a question mark, you're gonna delete that as well from the question mark on. So you should just have HTTPS at the beginning and view form at the end. Now that really is all the setup to show you this example. So make sure that your start node is connected and that you publish the bot. In Voice Glow, it's really important that you make sure that you publish your Voice Flow projects before you test it out in Voice Glow, otherwise it's not gonna work. So over here, we successfully published that back in Voice Glow. You might need to create a new prototype if you haven't already, and make sure to grab your Dialog API key, which is in the integration tab, Dialog API. Right here, you're just gonna copy that key, paste it in, save and publish, and you'll have a new bot that's connected to your Voice Flow chatbot. In this case, I already did it, so you're gonna go to widgets, you're gonna find your existing bots, you're going to click it and then once you put in that dialog api key you're going to press test there we go this is a sample of a google form so here you can see the form is set up in not the traditional google forms way so it's not just a direct embed of a typical google form it's stylized in voice glow's professional manner so if you don't like that you can recommend a different way in the comments or in our discord community but this is how it's set up right now and i'm just going to give some dummy data submit that and it's gonna trigger the JavaScript block. And as you can see, it extracted the email and the phone number that I just inputted into this form, which is pretty cool. And over in Google Forms, if I go to responses, you can see the most recent response worked correctly. So that's exactly what I put in over here. 
and you can see that that's working just fine. So again, if you are happy with this, you can go ahead and deploy the widget by using this code right here, which you would just embed into your HTML code for whatever site you want to put this on. So over in VoiceFlow, you don't really need the voice glow template that I showed you how to download to integrate this. So for example, if you had an existing project and you didn't want to create a brand new chatbot for this, you can actually just make your own custom action. So that's all that this is. This is just a custom action and it has a particular name. So we'll just name it the same exact thing. And in the action body, you can use the same embed code that we've copied from Google Forms. And here, just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and do a text block. Example of a Google form in using VoiceGlow, All right? We're gonna connect it. I'm gonna connect this start node and we're gonna publish it. So what's gonna happen is this it's gonna work just like this block, except obviously it's not gonna have the JavaScript, so it won't extract the data but it should work just fine. The form will work just as it did earlier. You can see, this is my own example of a Google form using VoiceGlow. What is your email? Put in something random. And it's just gonna end. So it's gonna repeat, obviously, because there's no other blocks over here, but on Google Forms end, you can see that that um, response was submitted as well, just as normal. So the template is really just for learning about what each feature does because it's color coded. Um, usually there's some additional features such as this data extraction tool that just shows you the full capabilities. But if you don't want to download the template, you don't have to at all. You just have to know how it works and how to set up your own custom action over here. So that was basically how to use Google Forms within VoiceFlow utilizing VoiceGlow. Of course, if you have any questions, you can join our Discord community, which will be linked in the description of this video, or you can just leave a comment on this YouTube video and we'll get back to you. But yeah, we're always working on pushing out new updates and we'd love to hear your feedback. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to check out some of our other tutorials for the other features within VoiceGlow.